Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to my let's play of the Terraria Lunatic mod. So today's episode will hopefully end up being the finale and that's because once we've taken down Betsy Boy, well, we are done. The apocalypse has been stopped and we finally, finally get to see what happens when you beat this mod. As you all know, this is a revised version of an old series that I did back in the day, and I never finished it. So I'm finally seeing the conclusion, and it feels pretty good. Now, because it is the finale, I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for making this series extra special. I know it's not been my longest series, and that's because, you know, it's a speedrun at the end of the day. But you've made it really special. For example, let me go over some really awesome stuff for you guys. So, I'm going to get a, uh, a clink with this dude while we talk about this. So, in terms of numbers, we've had 7,000 new people join the channel. That is some insane growth. I'm not going to lie. I'm very proud of that. Uh, we've had over a third of a million views over the series, you know, as like a whole. Which is amazing too. And it's just been awesome it's been really awesome like doing all the puns with you guys like you may notice every title tries to have a pun and the best thing is this is what i love if i can't make up a pun in a title you guys come up with a better one thank you so much for that you've all made it really special and i've just loved it it's been such a great start to 2019 when i started this year I wasn't sure what I was going to do just in general I, I never knew if I was going to make another Terraria series but I did and you really got me back into it. You've all been awesome. You're a cool bunch of dudes, all right? Um, <laughs> so that being said, I'm going to grab a few basic buffs. I don't know how hard Betsy is. I was hanging out with Python earlier. He says that Betsy's all right. When I remember doing Betsy, I remember it being awful. So we shall see. If he's right, fair enough. I'll buy him a drink. If I'm right, he can buy me another drink because he already bought me one today. So I went and did Moon Lord one more time. I was thinking about doing this on camera because, you know, it's going to be a shorter episode. But I thought, considering the fact that you guys made a... <laughs> well, you guys were made to suffer yesterday through loads of failed attempts. I don't think you need it anymore. So let's make up some Luminite. We got a bunch of that. 49. I don't even know if that's enough. It's probably not. Uh, and we need to make some armor. And the armor we're going to make is Vortex. So this is the ranged one. So one piece... Two piece and three. Amazing. One, two, three. Hell yeah. So looking at that, we have 92 defense and this does 143. If I was to swap it over, we've got 81 defense and this is 202. But when I'm moving around, it's 141. So interesting. Let's see what the set bonus is. Double tap down to toggle stealth. Increasing ranged ability and reducing chance of enemies to target you, but slowing movement speed. So I've actually never used this set ever. I didn't even know that it had a stealth mode. That's kind of cool. Can you double dash with stealth mode on? How long does it last? Do I have to like stop moving for a little while? So that's doing 143. If I put stealth on, how long does it last? Does it last until I start like flying around like a madman? I'm very curious to see. Oh, all right, so I double tapped to the side and it went. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. I've, I've literally never seen that, so that's that's pretty sick. Right, so... <laughs> all right, Scorpion. Chill out, mate. <laughs> right, we're going to do this. This is it. Bam. Buff up. Zoom out. I think this should be fine. I mean, the problem is I've got nothing to shoot the sky ones with. That's always the problem with me. If I need to kill the sky ones, I'm already, I'm already screwed. The thing with this event is that if you want to earn the coins, you have to beat the event. And sometimes you need the weapons to beat the event. Does that make sense? So, why is that not why is that one not dying? So, in reality, sometimes it is best just to um you know, it's best to to do this event throughout your game and then you don't have to worry about it later on. Not bad. I'm in stealth mode as well, which kind of makes a little bit of sense. I tell you what, right, let me talk about my life real quick. Oh my god, am I in pain right now? So, I was wearing some, like, low-supported shoes. I basically, I got some fancy shoes. I was very proud of these fancy shoes. They're not like uh, leather or out like that. They're just fancy Adidas or Adidas, whichever name you prefer. They're very nice shoes. I really like them. That being said, they really messed up my feet. So, I was wearing them yesterday, just, you know, walking around doing my thing. 
and, uh, and it really sprained my foot. And my foot really hurts now. Like, I was uh, walking around to meet Python earlier, and oh my god, I thought I was going to need a wheelchair. It was real bad. I had to get a lift home. <laughs> so that's that kind of sucks. Especially, like, I've been talking about it for days. Like, walking is my favorite thing at the minute. Especially, like, I've been doing these really long walks. Now I'm going to have to, like, rest for a few days. It kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of rough. Oh god, you do move so slow when you're in stealth mode. But I just think the added benefit is probably probably really good. Python said to me that you need a um what's that? Oh, what's that mage weapon called? It's not the last prison, but it's the other one that you can get, the one where it looks like a um you're holding like a circle. I can't remember is it called the Arcane Nebula? Is that what it's called? I can't remember. What's this? Creative shock. You have lost the power of creation. Oh no! <laughs> it's pretty much me every week when I'm trying to think of a chippy gaming video. <laughs> oh, brutal. Okay, so this is wave three. We have to get to wave five, right? Is that it? That's not bad. Tell you what, the only thing that sucks about this series being shorter is that I haven't had more time to read The Hobbit. <laughs> I actually haven't been reading it. I need to, uh, to catch up on it. I've been too busy listening to my audiobook. Still making my way through that. It's 20 hours long. It's a big commitment. I mean, that's pretty much bigger than any Netflix series you can find. Unless there is one that's got like, you know, 10 different seasons or whatever. God, do you know what? I've got a last prism and I really should have gone with a mage build. Because the last prism would be so good for this part. Way better, because it's at least piercing. Oh man, I left the last prism in the, uh, in the thingy madoodle, in the chest. As long as I can hit the flying ones, I'm not too bothered. Oh god, that ogre man. Get out of here, Ogre. Come on. Oh, God. Come on, Ogre. Come on. Come on. No. <laughs> I need to get to a higher round. <laughs> Stop. Get away. <laughs> oh, God. This event. This event is rough, man. What is that? A wither beast. All right. It's over. It's all Ogre now. All right. I'm not messing around this time. I've changed the loadout a little bit, so... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to combine my gun with the last prism that I got. I've got some proper buffs this time, but I'm not going to take them until a little bit later on. And then I've also got a dragon mount here. So it's my goal, essentially, to rock a ranger mage build, kind of. Essentially, I'm going to rely on the last prism as we get later into the event. But I didn't want to make a full mage build. So I'm really just hoping that I can wing this to work. I've also put my uh, my life statues from the Moon Lord Arena underneath me because I'm a boss and I'm going in this like full force. I'm also using the stealth mode. I've changed my accessories. I'm feeling pretty confident about this. I don't think Betsy's got a chance. Only problem with this event is it's very slow. <laughs> um, I actually did another attempt a second ago. I'm going to cut it out because it was quite boring. Uh, but I did get 30 defender coins for reaching wave 5 or 6. So I got pretty far with this setup. I didn't have the right potions, so I think I'm going to do fine. Okay, right. <laughs> this is it. I'm actually very excited for this. So we are coming into the final wave. We have 19 seconds left. Okay, there's actually uh, enemies still spawning. Uh, well, enemies that are not dead. <laughs> right, so we've got 10 seconds to basically clear up these enemies. I don't know how many are left. We're going to buff up so I get my mana power. Because that's the one that runs out. Let's get a little bit more of that. Okay, Betsy is here. Oh! I forget that you- Oh, okay, right. <laughs> I should probably- <laughs> I should probably change the setup a little bit. So, I want to go that- Oh. Swap those over and those over. Alright, I just need to kill Betsy. That's all I need to really focus on is Betsy. If I can kill Betsy, I'm good. Okay, let me- uh, Oh, let me enter stealth. Oh, no. Come on, Betsy. Come on, Betsy. I don't even need to beat the event. I just need to kill Betsy. Come on. Betsy, please. Betsy. <laughs> hey! Come on. Let's do this. Hey! We beat her, I think. Did we beat her? Yeah, we did. We didn't need to beat the event. How amazing is that? Woohoo! Hey, we did it. We did it, lads. All right. So we got 60 defender medals for that. We got uh, a lot of mana. Hell of a lot of mana. We also got some of my very favorite um, weapons, which are these ones. The Tomb of Infinite Wisdom. I really like these. These are the only weapons in the game that have alternate fires. I don't know if you guys knew that, 
But you can shoot it once, and then you can also use your uh, right click to shoot it again. Very cool. Very unique. Wow, we actually did it. Okay, let's hand it over, and let's finish this thing up. Man, we are... <laughs> we are great. I love this. Okay, so we got an ogre mask. This is simply a vanity outfit. Where is our uh, lunatic cultist? Is he over here? God, I'm so slow. Oh, it's because I'm in stealth mode. Right, you guys ready for this? This is it, guys. The very end. A genuine Betsy mask. Much thanks. A bit non-standard, but it should work. At last. Seems this world gets to live a little bit longer. I won't need this anymore. Enjoy. Huh. So what is this? Umbral Cowl. Equipable. Be one with the darkness. Enter complete darkness to use. Press shift to re-enter light. Beware the gruel. Or the gruel or... Enter complete darkness to use. Okay. So, complete darkness. Uh, let's remove this torch. And this torch. Okay, so over here should be complete darkness now. Is my pet lighting me up? What's uh, what's lighting me up here? Is it my vanity set? This is my vanity set lighting me up. Oh, it does. Oh god. Okay, I'm in the darkness. Shadow Walker, move freely through the shadows. Oh. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So anywhere that's dark, I can move through and I can click shift, I think. Or do I need to hold up a torch? Is that what that means? I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't. Press shift to re-enter light. So do I need to press it as I'm near light or... Oh, I do. Ah, okay. Right, I have to say that is the weirdest power-up I've ever seen. But it's very interesting to say the least. So you need to be in complete darkness to even get into it. That's so cool. Well, there we go. So I've been desperate to see what would happen in an alternate reality where I actually fail this challenge. So this is the very final day of the challenge. And what's cool is it even says final day. So we have about two minutes to give our predictions on what I think might happen. So I've been thinking about this for a while. Like, what do I think it would do within its own limitations? So here's what I think. I think when time runs out of this challenge, it will spawn like an event. So kind of like a solar eclipse that won't end and everything will just like one hit you because I think it wants to do something that will completely immobilize your adventure. Now, that being said, it could also do things like turn every block to lava, maybe? I don't know. And this is it. So we're going to experience it together. I never knew when I started this if we would be experiencing this as people that have beaten the mod or people that have failed the mod. So having a little look at this guy. Hi, have you by any chance given thought into accepting your heart, our saviour, Lord Cthulhu? It's a relatively painless surgical procedure. Oh. <laughs> oh, we've got a minute remaining. So, guys, with this being said, once again, thank you for making this series so awesome. It's been it's been awesome. It's, I've had a really good time with it. And I haven't been ill. Look at that. <laughs> I'm usually ill once every series. Doesn't matter if it lasts a week or two weeks. Okay, we don't have long. Let's say goodbye to this world. This was probably one of the best series for me because I didn't have to build. <laughs> oh, after playing Terraria for so long, I'm not I'm not the biggest builder in the world anymore. So I've got these beautiful wooden homes. I've got a beautiful fishing lake. Some more wooden homes. Wooden homes, wooden homes, wooden homes. Okay, 15 seconds remaining. Oh, let's do a countdown. Right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Is that what it is? Is it a permanent solar eclipse? Is that it? <laughs> That's got to be it, right? 
I enjoy a good party and all, but this one will be killer if we don't get underground soon at this rate, literally. Very nice, but I've already got... Oh. Oh, so do we have another day? Or is this literally it? I'm very confused now. Okay. Right, I waited. The end has come. <laughs> I have no idea what's above us. Oh god, what's killing all my NPCs? Oh jeez. <laughs> what's killing them? Oh my god. It's the solar eclipse. <laughs> oh my god. Is this it? Is it one permanent solar eclipse? I can't be dealing with this. It's literally my least favorite event. Oh my god. Right, we need to speak to the cultist. We need to find out what's happening here. Alright, please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. I need to know his final thoughts. No! Party time. Mask won't do much good now. Alas, they were our only hope. No! Oh my god. So this is what it does. And what happens if you die? Do you just die for good? Is that it? Wow, what an adventure. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me, guys. Um... I'll have a new series very soon. Maybe you can help me decide what it's going to be by leaving a comment. But for now, with the apocalypse begun, I think that's it. Right, thank you all for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!